It is the staple diet for millions of commercially farmed chickens across Britain. Wheat is the key ingredient, and though Humphrey Feeds never sourced it from sanctioned Russia or war-torn Ukraine, some of the world's largest exporters, the return of war in Europe means there's a scarcity of supply, which has massively pushed up prices across the board. Back in January, Humphreys was paying £222 for a tonne of wheat. That's $269, which at the time was already nearly a record. He then had the invasion of Ukraine in February, which wreaked havoc on global supply chains and led to a peak in around mid-May of $439. That's a 62% increase. Since then, prices have dropped off slightly to about $305 as I speak to you, but still 20% more than before the war. The same goes for almost every other ingredient coming into the Humphrey warehouse, says Kaylee Johnson, who's the procurement manager here. The challenge that began before the conflict broke out. So here we have our amino acids, so such a glycine, so this actually comes from China. Okay, cost of that? So uh, the cost of this is at the moment about three and a half thousand pounds a tonne. Okay. So we've seen uh, probably about 1,500 pounds a tonne increase in the cost of that okay. since pre-COVID. Okay. Um, and a lot of that is down to shipping container costs. Okay. So we're looking at around a 600% increase in the cost of the container wow. pre-pandemic. But their situation has now become much more challenging. Humphrey's sunflower oil used to come from Ukraine and Russia, for instance, but has now been shipped from Argentina at a significantly higher cost. The price of soya, another key ingredient, has also rocketed, even though they import it from the United States. The list goes on. And all that's before production's even started. Humphrey Managing Director Neil Richardson walks us through the mill to show us how the product is mixed, ground, then pressed, using heavy machinery and at high temperatures before being cooled and bagged up. It's an energy intensive process. We're using 17 kilowatt hours per tonne, so they've doubled in cost. So, uh, and on top of that, we've also got the oil prices have gone up. So we use, our, we use kerosene in our boiler to generate a lot of steam. And, and that is, we're using a litre a tonne just to generate steam. And that's also doubled in price. Back in April 2020, electricity in the UK cost the equivalent of around 30 cents per kilowatt hour. A year later, it had shot up to nearly a dollar. By May this year, the price had reached more than three dollars, more than a 300 per cent increase. And delivery costs are much higher too, given diesel prices have gone from just under two dollars a litre in January to more than two dollars thirty more recently. Finally, a persistent UK labour shortage is also putting upward pressure on wages. Those costs must be passed on, says Director of Sales Martin Humphrey, to the farms they sell to, and ultimately all the way to the supermarket shelves. The price of chickens shot up nearly a quarter these past 12 months. Beef will eat the grass, and that doesn't go up in price. For the, price of, for the cost of chickens, the cost is all in the feed. I mean, it's 55, 60% of the total cost. They have to buy that cost. They have to eat that food and that cost has gone up. So it's a much greater proportion of the overall costs compared with other, room, uh, other livestock. And with inflation forecast to hit double figures this winter, the assumption here is things are likely to get even tougher. Guy Henderson, CGTN, Hampshire.